spirit, so too did Glenn Catley with that dramatic win over Marcus Bayer, Here who's ringside Round tonight. Number one. Plenty like Mark Prince, Nicky Piper and Bruce Scott were stopped. How will Murray fare? So often about timing and levels this sport. Is it too soon or just right? Felix Sturm is quality and he's been quality at world level for around eight years. A three-time world middleweight champion making the 11th defence of his WBA crown. Only ever been beaten twice, once controversially by Oscar De La Hoya and once when he was stopped in 10 unexpectedly by Javier Castillejo. A couple of poor performances if you look through Sturm's record, but it's noticeable when he has something to prove, when it's in return matches or he has you know, a chip to get off his shoulder, he really performs to the best of his ability. I feel that may be the mood he's in tonight. He started quickly trying to get the jab moving, the jab that Matthew Macklin seemed to take away from him, but he's, he's, he's working that already. Macklin pressured him so much in the first four, five, six rounds. And Sturm took ages to get going. A quicker start tonight from the champion, but Murray doesn't look phased, Jim. No, he's, he's coping with the situation well. He's probably fantasised this fight so often in his mind, so many different ways it'll play out, so he has to be prepared if he doesn't have as good a start as maybe he hoped he would have. He has the, the grit and the determination to get himself back into things, but this is a good positive start from him. I'd be happy. Was the body shots around the side, that's what Macklin did. He said he won't fight the way that Matthew Macklin did, he'll do it differently. He'll be cuter, he'll use his boxing skills, but Sturm is so classy in that department. A lot of punches blocked by either man in the, the opening session, but uh, Sturm looks like a man on a mission. Martin Murray, very cool, keeping the jab moving, just trying to keep Sturm off balance, not allow him to set up any attacks to put the punches together. Good opening round, not much in it. Sturm a little bit busier, but not much in it. Yeah, interesting one, body shot from Sturm, as the speed might have the edge in that department, but Murray puts the combinations together. Well, the Murray camp have kept things close to their chest, you can't blame them, so we don't know if he expects to out-game, out-tough, or out-box Felix Sturm. Some of the things he's saying suggest that they plan they can out-box him. That surprised me. He's held his own in the opener, that's for sure. Good jams to head and body, just gets backed up on the ropes. Stern very good at catching the eye of the judges late on in rounds. Right hand there, might just have done enough, the champion in this opener. But it's not bad for Murray fans. Well, Murray showed excellent composing the opening round, not intimidated in the slightest. He's not phased, this chance has come out of the blue but the camp must be delighted the way he coped with the opening round. Close to the camp, Jamie Moore. Are you uh, impressed at what Murray's done in the first three minutes? Might not have won the round, but settled well? I think so, yeah. I mean, it, the first round was always going to be tough to settle in straight away. But, you know, I think he did a good job. Initially, he took the centre of the ring, uh, but Felix Sturm sort of used his experience to shift it round towards the end. It was a close round, but he probably just nicked it Sturm, but Martin will be happy with that. The grey and red of the 32-year-old champion in fight number 40, Felix Sturm, from Cologne. And the red and white of Martin Murray, with Archie, his son, on the front, Amelia, his daughter, on the back. Good pressure there from Murray. The tactics seem to be attack at times, defend at others. Well, I think the important thing, and what I'm liking about Murray, he's answering everything that Sturm comes up with. He's not Tino, he's not blocking, you know, a burst of punches, then moving away, he's coming back with his own, so he's keeping everything tight. Keeping in mind over here, history reminds us that tight doesn't normally go your way. So, tough job and a tough place to get a decision. There's only been 12 rounds on one occasion, Martin Murray, so he might be conserving energy, having watched what Macklin did, tiring in those sort of later rounds. Will he be too fresh and hungry? for Stern, that is a possibility. He's certainly coping okay at the moment, but Stern has the center of the ring. 
Yeah, but so far, if you if you if you stepped into this arena and didn't know who you were watching, you couldn't pick which one was the world champion. It's difficult to split them. Martin Murray is doing every bit as good as the champion there. The body shot from Stern. Both showing decent defence early on in this world championship affair. Murray admitted on ringside a couple of weeks ago that he would have liked three or four more fights before this, but you've got to take your chances in this game. And it's come for him. And it's confident and composed so far. Yeah, they've both been so good defensively in the first couple of rounds. Stuart may be throwing more right hands, more power shots. There he goes again with them. Smile from Murray. Not a massive puncher, Stern. 15 knockouts through his long career. Most has been on points or the late stoppages. Stuart is maybe moving into range better with his own punches, which makes them look that little bit more impressive than Murray's. Murray's throwing his at arm's length. There's both blocking shots, but still, the way he's stepping in, this is better from Murray, much better. Really good, finding the body, accuracy, and sharp after that 16-week training camp, Martin Murray. Sturm said everything's gone perfectly for him too. And they did look fabulous on the scales. Good fight, good start. I have... A warm welcome back to the SAP Arena here in Mannheim. Sturm might have squeezed the first two, Jim, but it's a, a decent one already. Yeah, the, the main thing is, I, I think uh, Murray was going to have to find his confidence. He believed in himself, but he's never boxed at this level, so two decent rounds where he's extended the world champion. He's done almost every bit as good as Sturm has done. His confidence will build now. Maybe now he can take more chances, impose himself a little bit more, because you don't win fights away from home at this, at this pace. Many felt that Matthew Macklin did enough against Felix Sturm, but he got the split decision win. He was angry with himself after that, as was his... Uh, Trainer Fritz Stunek read the riot act and uh, he wants to make amends tonight in front of the German crowd that love him. And it's easy to see why he's a, a great example of a decent operator in the sport and out of the ring, Felix Sturm. See, I think that the problem at the moment, Sturm's work, it's not really any better, but it looks a bit more impressive the way he's marching right in with the shots. Good stuff here from Murray. Just needs to step in with that jab. Try to knock Sturm onto his heels with it. A set move forward with it. Battle of the jabs, Oliver Harrison clapping from the blue corner. For Martin Murray. He's getting the gloves up well. And trying his own body shots. Good left hook. He possesses Murray. Fight number 24 yet to lose. As they were saying in studio, Darren Barker, that it's a massive jump from your Blackwells, your Nick Blackwells to your Felix Stearns. Enormous. Well, he's doing well in this round, Murray. I mean, I will say this pace suits the man who has a 14 championship fights under his belt, 14, 12 rounders. I wonder that. Good stuff coming back from Stone, but so far, decent from Murray. Just finding those little body shots under the elbows. That's what Ricky Hatton's advice was. Try and screw a, a couple up through the middle. He's got a decent uppercut, Murray. Been boxing a long, long time. Stern might have been the better amateur, the higher class pedigree. But Murray's showing plenty here. This is good stuff from Murray. He's standing his ground, he's not quite stepping in with the shots, but he's setting himself and letting them go, this is good stuff. Stanley Christodoulou, world-famous referee, just saying, keep them up a bit. Good right hand from Stern, that was decent. Murray smiles. Good shot. And later on in the round, catching the eye, but I think Murray's had a decent third, Jim. Yep, I've liked Murray in the third round so far, unless something really takes it away from him. Just has to keep his concentration. They're putting the punches out nicely. Swelling as well by the left eye of Felix Stern. And I notice a problem with his right eye as well. 
bumps and lumps. Murray on the rope, Stern trying to drill right hands. Action heating up at the end of the third, crowd enjoying it. Well, Martin Murray may well have pulled one back there in the third round. He'll be growing in confidence. Jamie Moore, early assessment. Uh, all three rounds have been close yeah, for me. Uh, oh, I think. And then the little ones, he's not weak ones. Yeah, yeah. All the, he needs to listen to all of his instructions. Exactly like that, he seems very focused. But I think they're all close rounds, but um, mine seems to be discouraging him a little bit there. You know, he, he, I always thought that Martin, at some point in the fight, would get um, get to stay him a little bit where he's very stubborn and he's strong and he's starting to land his shots downstairs and he's hurting him and you could see you could noticeably see Sturm's face change in that round so this could be an interesting round Sturm was telling us at the uh, weigh-in yesterday afternoon that he expected a charge from Murray in the first half of the fight and that he would take over in the middle rounds doesn't quite happen like that cat and mouse from murray it's clever decent uppercut there as well just trying to unsettle the long-time champion yeah well it's uh, it's nice to do the totally unexpected and i think that's what murray's doing he has spoken about outboxing stern which surprised me but uh, i mean he's giving pretty much as good as he's getting in every one of these rounds and tip for tap there Sturm delivered, Murray back, accuracy. He is 29, but only a pro for four years. And as Ricky Att was saying, not many miles on the clock. Inexperience, yes, but self-belief and the confidence Jim will be growing round by round. Yeah, and what he's done so far in this round, he hasn't allowed Sturm to set much up. He's boxing at a nice range, stepping in, stepping out, getting the punches off. So Sturm becoming a little bit frustrated at the moment, can't pin him down properly. Again, backs up on those ropes, trying to drive forward Sturm. Probably working much harder in the first part of the fight than he thought he would have to, and Murray just shoves him back. He's told off for that, but he weighed this morning 12-4. He's a really strong middleweight. But you know, that's worth being told off for, just shoving the other guy right off you. Show him the physical strength you have up close. That's worth a little warning from the referee. Don't do it too often. And this is another good round for Murray so far. He's picking them nicely, accurately. Lovely right hand. Big outsider before the fight. Stern two to nine. Money came in for Murray. Murray dropping his hands there, which was uh, surprising. Doesn't want to do too much of that. Just sensible still from Martin Murray, who has had a couple of sleepy performances in his rise and has been floored a couple of times. Once in that terrific prize fighter final against Cello Render. But three rounds of that at the York Hall and 12 of this against a seasoned world champion like Chalk and Cheese. I think he's nullified a lot of uh, Sturm's work in this round. I mean, Sturm looking frustrated, he's trying, having to force the work. He's taking the smoothness away, he's blocking these shots. When I mean, Sturm blocks shots like that, we credit him, so we have to do the same when Murray does it. I think this is another decent round for Martin Murray. Excellent defence too from Murray. Signs that this is a tougher job than he thought. Signs that Martin Murray is a far better boxer technically than his camp expected. Has had a long, hard career at middleweight, Felix Sturm, who turned back in January 2001, 20 victories, then he went to Vegas. That contentious result against Oscar De La Hoya. But at some point, the wheels are going to have to come off. Maybe not tonight, but Martin Murray could, just could, be in the right place at the right time. A long, long way to go, though. And Sturm could well be ahead on the three judges' guards. Still doubling up on the jab now. I think he realises the single shots will be encountered, so he's doubling every jab. Standing his ground, weight on the toes. I've noticed particularly, Jim, the use of the left hook from Martin Murray, and that's what Castillo did to stop Sturm late on. Yeah, but I think so far, Murray's performance has been excellent. Different from what I expected, but a lot better than I expected. There's the screw shot up the middle, Ricky Hatton. He's been listening, Martin Murray. 
Can he execute the tactics? It's busier from Sturm and that lovely jab that was honed in the amateurs and that's given so many world-class opponents trouble. Murray doesn't move after the jab, so I'm surprised that Sturm doesn't follow it with a simple straight right hand because Murray just stands there. This is a good response from him there. And digging the punches in, maybe the harder hitter in there, Martin Murray. But doesn't want to be on the end of that jab too much. This is good from Sturm, and Murray needs to respond. He's pushing again, he's going to have to be careful. The referees had a quiet word there. But the last thing you want is points deducted. I think Sturm has moved into a higher gear in this round. His jab is really good, stepping in again behind it. Murray giving little smiles and stuff, but that's not what we need. Excellent technical work this from the accomplished boxer Felix Stern. Murray answering at times. It's a little bit more basic from the Englishman, but it's making for a really good spectacle this gym. See, this is smart from Stern. He's not going at a crazy pace, but he's just working that little bit harder and he's putting the power, pulled the oxygen in here as he backed off. But I mean, he's put a fair bit of work into this. They have the push again from Murray and the referee having a look at him. Big breath there from Sturm, and as well, the left eye is worsening of the WBA champion. Martin Murray is having his turn for a response. A game might not have won the round, Jim, but he's still there. Just a little sign there for half a minute or so that Sturm was taking the fight away from him, but he's responded well, he's back again, he's allowed Sturm to have his first, and he's coming back. I think it's a better round for Sturm, though. Yeah, did definitely up the gears there, Felix Sturm. Now we'll find out a lot about Martin Murray. Doesn't want to be dropping his hands like that, but maybe he wants to be drawing him in, Jamie Moore. Yeah, I mean, you know, I always felt that Martin Murray, win or lose his fight, would give a good, good account of himself. And I think, you know, even, even after five rounds, he's done himself proud. But this fight ain't over. You know, for me, I couldn't split him in that round. I thought that, you know, every time every time Sturm opened up and let his shots go, Martin replied with something. So, you know, it was very difficult to split him. Um, and he's going to turn into a very interesting fight in the second half. One. Yeah, but I think that uh, Sturm has been sent out to step on the pedal a little bit. They've realised they really have a challenger in with them tonight. They've picked this fellow out of the blue, but I think that they've picked more than they bargained for. Sturm corner, they don't look panicked in any way, because none of the rounds have been one-sided one way or the other. So they'll be quite happy boxing at home, maybe that Sturm is a little bit more ahead than we have him. Into the sixth round. Only the 110th of Martin Murray's career. Whereas Felix Stern's almost had 300. 16 world title fights to zero. Big golfing class, but it's not unfolded like that. No, as I say, there's nothing glaring that tells you which one of these guys is the world champion and which one is just in the 23 fights. There's little bits of experience showing from Stern using bringing the right hand into play. Distance against Matthew Macklin managed to stop Ronald Hearns, son of the legendary hitman in Stuttgart in February in seven. Just caught Hearns and he fell apart. No signs of Murray folding. Not yet. You know, you can count in your thumbs the amount of real powerful shots that Murray has taken on the chin. And that's credit to his concentration, his boxing ability, his defence, and just the way he's adapted to this job. Terrific. Attempting to execute the game plan that will make him a world champion, but Sturm's so strong, so tough. And he's boxing much better than he did against Matthew Macklin, and I think we expected that. Yeah, well, he's not under the same pressure. That, that's the one problem I have. I think this pace suits the champion with so many 12-rounders behind him. But when it's working as well, I mean, who would want to change what Murray's doing? Maybe just a little bit busier, take the initiative a little bit more. I think he was caught with a good shot there. Yeah, it was a lovely right hand, but that wasn't a bad left hook from the fists of the St. Helens middleweight, big rugby league fan, and loves watching fishing. Nice and relaxing, not in there. 
And the end of that jab from Sturm. Yeah, that was a triple jab from Sturm. I think he's come to realise single jabs have been countered, double jabs, triples, no. Sturm's working hard, and he's working well. Murray not having a dip, but not having the same success. That was a bit low. These are little kind of arm punches uh, from Murray there. You know, he didn't get the shoulder or the hip into them. He's heavy-handed, but really wants to be turning with the punch the way Sturm is doing. He's tried the uppercut there. Sturm back to the jab, doubling up. Lovely to watch when he's boxing like this. Felix Sturm in a right hand. Murray brave, but hasn't had the same effect. And the rhythm in this, the sixth round. Yeah, when rounds are as close as this, you have to take into account the quality. And I think maybe the quality with Sturm yep. in that round. I agree with you, Jim. Champion, look the champion there. Yeah, there's the, 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 the double jab that's working for Sturm now. The single shots have been blocked and countered, but there, one, two, three jabs. That's impressive stuff. If there are any doubts in the judges' minds, that that's what sways the round one way or the other. Just putting that little bit extra into what he's doing. You not do it. Do it. Have a drink, no, please. Come on. Drink. It's not tomorrow, no, Martin. This no. is it. The Murray faithful. What would Oliver Harrison have been saying there, Jamie, in the corner? I think what he's asking for is a little bit more work rate. As Jim was saying, you know, to come over to Germany and get a decision. If you are going to get a decision, you've got to really, really take the title. And those first six rounds, you know, they could have gone either way. But this is the stage of the fight now where Martin's got to pick the pace up. And if he's going to go on with that title, he needs to rip it off the champion. And he needs to win these last rounds. The Brits have had tough fights abroad this year. Ryan Rhodes in Mexico with Sal Alvarez, Matthew Hatton as well. But we had great performances from Matthew Macklin and also from Darren Barker back home. You've got him a couple yep, up, Sturm. Got him a couple up just for the slightly better quality. I'd like to be stepping in with the shots, putting them together. There's not much in it, but I would, I would more fear being over here that uh, I'm giving Martin Murray a bit more credit than the officials were. I don't know, I mean, everything Sturm does is cheered. And uh, we have 350 back there doing the best they can for Martin Murray. But uh, that's a, that's a, that is a mismatch, the size of the crowd here, a good body shot from Sturm. Lovely combination, very sharp there from Felix Sturm. Three judges from America, Canada and France, all very experienced. And I think they will be favouring Sturm at the halfway mark by how much, who knows? Murray's just got to grit his teeth and get on with it. And as Jamie, maybe Oliver was saying, work rate, up it. Got to take the title out here. I wouldn't want uh, Murray to be reckless, but I'd like to see him come forward a little bit more. Not quite the way Macklin did, but come forward, try to get Stu onto the back foot. I mean, Sturm can box, you know, going forward. This is good stuff from Murray. This really is good stuff. A little dip in the pace from Sturm. Right hook and a left back. Sturm came. He's very clever in cameos, covering up and then stinging back Felix Sturm. Notice that against Macklin at times. Murray's out working him here in some of these exchanges. I feel he has to stay in and have the last word in the exchanges. He hasn't done that often enough for my liking. See, this is impressive-looking stuff, partly blocked, but impressive-looking stuff if you're a judge sitting at ringside. This time, Murray drew breath. Good uppercut. I'll tell you what, already, it's been a fine performance from Martin Murray, like we saw with Darren Barker and Matthew Macklin. He will go back with his head high, whatever happens. Stern puts the pressure on again. Same ropes, Murray off them. The difference I see is that Sturm is able to bully Murray now and again. Murray never really able to do the same. Good response, good... And there's nothing in there, so this is really is a difficult round to score here. But uh, Sturm seems able to turn it on and use his physical strength and his experience. A good body shot again. I think that hurt Murray. 
The edge of class in exchanges, Felix Sturm, but it's close at times. Sudnik in the corner, 64 years of age. He's been with them a long time since Mikhail Tim, good coach. And he's got a quality man to work with. Yeah, well, that, that, that was a, a round where a lot of quality came from Sturm, but I was really impressed with the work rate of Murray. What troubles me is it looks once now and again that he's being bullied and he's not able to return the compliment. But I thought he did enough work in, in the first two and a half minutes or so of that round. What like this? Yeah, just to nick the round. Good, you know, quality stuff from the Sturm whenever he decides to switch it on. I don't know that he switched it on an awful lot in that round. I've just been handed some interesting information at ringside. Our German television colleagues, Marcus Bayer, former world champion, is scoring, and he's got Murray up by a round. I think last time Axel Schultz had Macklin up about five rounds. Jamie, thoughts at this stage? Um, again, you know, the close rounds. Um, Sturm seems to be doing what he did against Macklin, where he finishes the round strong, or, or he fights in 10-second bursts, which catch the eye. So, you know, maybe he, he knows what he's doing. He's an experienced campaigner. He's trying to catch the judge, judge's eyes. But for me, uh, Martin Murray's outworking him in the last two or three rounds. Um, but the eye-catching shots are coming from Sturm, so he's obviously trying to catch the judge's eyes, but it's a very, very close fight. Big jab from Sturm, his grey and red trunks, sweat stain now. Murray unloading the combinations at time, keeping a nice peekaboo style with the defence as well. As you said, not taking much on the chin cleanly, is he? And that was good from Murray. Yeah, one of the few times that he caught Sturm clean on the chin. Not easy to do with that tight defence there. Sturm missing. The jab just breaking up the concentration of Felix Sturm. Can he change gears, Martin Murray? Has he got enough know-how, knowledge? Or can Sturm box his way home, dropping his hands? See, that doesn't impress judges, and that's better, springing into action again. But don't walk away with your hands down as though you're tiring. Nice combination, body shots, and the St Helens fans behind us are on their feet. This is a really good effort from Martin Murray. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how easily Sturm is being hit now. Great stuff from Murray again, and he's putting them together, having the last word, as I hoped he would do. Can Sturm fight three minutes of a round these days? Murray looking strong again. Sturm just shaken there for the first time in the fight in the eighth round. 45 seconds to go, and Murray says, come on, this is wonderful work from the Englishman. You know, I wonder the quick went through Felix Sturm's mind just then. He looked as if everything was taken away from him. Shoves him back, told off by the referee. The fans won't mind that. They are rocking and rolling behind us because Martin Murray made a mini breakthrough there in the eighth round. I think he put thoughts into Felix Sturm's head there, little signs that he didn't like. What was going on here? Not a happy man in the slightest. Terrific rounds. For Martin Murray. Stern back with the accurate jab. Becoming a fascinating fight this out in Mannheim. All those naysayers for Martin Murray. Look at him now. Stroll back to his corner with confidence and belief. Is that a big turning point, Jamie Moore? That was a taxing round for both fighters. And now, from this point on, it's going to be about who wants it most. Who's got the most stamina? And you know, Felix Sturm looks very tired, but uh, my money looks tired, but the difference is Felix Sturm's head's going down, whereas my money walked back to the corner and he looked confident. So this could be a big, big round this next round, it could decide the fight. Yeah, well, I saw little signs in Felix Sturm there that I looked for when I was boxing myself and thrived on it. Little signs that he didn't like what was going on. Tremendous round, I felt. For Martin Murray, no question in my mind who won that one. Well, they're putting the ice on him, Felix Sturm. The long career. 
Will he glide home or be allowed to for the next four rounds? Or can Murray pick up off that eighth? There's the fast start from Felix Sturm. Jim, you've got it dead level. Yeah, well, that, that is one of the few rounds tonight where there's no question in my mind which way that should go. That was a tremendous round for Martin Murray, and it is the most important stage of the fight. This is where fights are, are won and lost. You know, two-thirds of the way through, you still have a long way to go, you're tiring. This is where character comes into it, the one who can dig in and just pump the punches out that little bit more. Sturm is trying to turn the tables here. Opening minute of the round, absolutely, Felix Sturm. Getting back to work, Murray staying with him, but again drops his hands. Trying to invite the German in to his close quarters. Who's the stronger man at this stage? Well, Sturm still looks stronger because he's stepping in, pushing back. Now, this is good work from Sturm. See, that's the kind of work that impresses judges, not picking away and moving away. See, these were little arm punches coming back from Murray. But they're keeping Sturm occupied and not allowing him to get anything off. But then when Sturm does throw the shots, these are proper punches we're seeing here. That's better from Murray. Dig the punches in. Lovely right hand just lifted Sturm off his feet momentarily. That's the freshness that he has got. But he's never been in this deep before Murray. We're learning so much about the man from St. Helens, the 29-year-old, who is proving he belongs around world-class, whatever happens tonight, with the result. See, again, still dig look at the way he's digging those punches in. It is impressive, but Murray's what rate? He's certainly matching him for what rate? A bit loose limb there, Martin Murray. That's a sign of tiredness. He wants the blood back into the hands. Dangerous. Now this is good stuff from Sturm. It's a pity. I would love to have seen Murray really build on that previous round. Another close round. Has he nicked it, or is the impressive work of Sturm? That, look at the jab. You can see the difference in the way he snaps the punches out. A fight back, Murray. Dig in. Good uppercut from Sturm, looking solid in this the ninth, and he needed this. Mark of a champion, he's had a debt. But Murray, I tell you what, he is really fighting the fight of his life here. Right hook from Sturm. Murray just went backwards, and I think Sturm has pinched that. Nose in front to the WBA champion, probably now. Jamie, you were saying that that round was so crucial. Is that bad news for Murray fans? It could be, you know, I mean, Felix Stern, he's using his experience now. He's picking, the, he's picking his punches at the right time. Martin is trying to outwork him, and he's, you know, he's doing the right thing as far as winning the fight is concerned, but, you know, at the same time, he's, he's running low on gas now. The, the, the both of them are running low on gas, but Felix is picking his shots better at this moment in time. I think Martin Murray needs to try and get a second win and push on over these, these next three rounds. Yeah, when you can't decide who's winning on volume of shots, you have to take in the quality, and I thought the quality was with Sturm in that round. Oliver Harrison with a bit of advice. Sturm straight in to the middle of the ring to carry on from what was a good ninth round. Nine minutes left, WBA middleweight championship on the line. If you need the identification, the tattooed right arm and the red and white of Britain's Martin Murray, aiming to become the first 11 stone six world champion since Chris Pyatt back in 1993. And that was good again from Murray taking the fight to Stern, who has fallen apart at this stage before. That was a terrific burst from Murray there. Now just keep your hands up, block was coming back. That's what we want to see, little bursts of punches, like that impressive burst. That was blocked that. So was that. It's good defence tonight. Trying to squeak one through the middle. Who's more tired? Who can dig that bit deeper? 
Well, Sturm not able to put two impressive rounds together. It seems that's maybe taken something out of the tank. The Macklin fight as well, something out of the tank. Good A right good hand. Shot there. Good shot. From Sturm. Murray almost respects that. And a jab as well from Stern, just catching Murray with his hands down at times. The responses are okay, but Stern, he's so rounded, isn't he, as a champion? Well, I thought Murray won the first minute of this round with a work rate, good accuracy. Stern coming back at him now, tightening things up. Getting the gloves up, but... Stern just finding the punches, which look classier. That's better from Murray, though. Good left hook. Can he drive combinations oh, together? Shot. And he may get a point deducted. He's been warned three or four times. Stanley Chrisadulu, well respected referee, let it go on. Crowd of booing. You just feel, Jim, that Murray needs to just drive everything to Stern for 30, yeah. 40 seconds. Yeah, the way that stubbornness comes into his boxing, he stands his ground and blazes and pushes him back. We need to see a little bit more of that. That's what the judges want to see, that's what we want to see. Good right hand from him. This is good stuff. And a left hook. He'll be testing Stern's resilience and resistance at nearly 33 after a long career. It happened for Ricky Hatton against Costas Hugh at the end of the 11th round. Now, this is the last warning, or is it a point? No, it's the last warning. Yeah, the crowd won. There's something been thrown into the ring there. It's a bag of some sort. is in the ring. And it's going to be fished out. The fighters haven't seen it, neither is the referee. They carry on, don't need that at all. What a good round again, though. I couldn't split them, Jim. I gave it to Murray. I thought the first half of the round and, and the last half minute or so. I think it took all he had to get himself back into that round because Sturm did turn things against him. A terrific start to the round for Murray and a decent finish, but that was a tough round for both men. I have them level again. So will that be the round that decides the outcome? Who can just drag a little bit more out of himself over the last couple of rounds? How fit, Jamie, is Martin Murray? Deep, deep training camp for a long, long time. You know him, you've sparred with him. He's in the best shape of his life, and obviously he's going to need to be. I mean, I have him five rounds apiece, and these two last rounds are now going to be vital. I mean, he it, it, it's, it's, it's still looks still as fresh as, as he did at the, end, at the beginning of the sixth or the seventh round, so, so he's definitely got it in the tank. Let's see what unfolds now, but it's going to be a cracking last two rounds. Jamie's got it five apiece. Jim Watt has got it a level as well. I think Sturm's in front, but it's very close. Well, this is where Sturm really showed the championship qualities against Macklin. So this is where Murray will have to meet him head on and impress the judges. It's the 11th round when Darren Barker's brave challenge to Sergio Martinez ended. But he came out with such credit that night, as did Macklin against Sturm, and Murray will too. That's great for our middleweights, Jim. Yeah, it's been a terrific performance. I expected him to put up a performance that would enhance his reputation, but I didn't think he'd be well in it at this stage of this fight. He shocked me, along with quite a few others. And he's catching Sturm. Right hands, here comes the combinations. Can he back him up enough? And really... Pressurise Sturm, who's been in another hard, tough night's work. There's the quality, though. Murray wants to, he needs to take the initiative here. He needs to go forward. I don't think he's got oh, left hook. enough. A great Lovely left shot. Hook. Beautiful shot. I'll tell you what, he's been the power puncher in there, and he's going to go for it here. Time left in the round. Sturm tries to settle himself behind the jab. It's another wonderful battle. We've had plenty this year for you on Sky. And we're kicking December off with another cracker. Well, Stun getting close, but not getting the punches off very quickly. Here they come now. Right hand again from Murray. He's answering it with the power punches. Terrific stuff from Murray here. Really impressive. 
Molly's winning this round. Then the jab as well, and the mouth open of Felix Stern. It's good defence from Murray again. He's turned him. He's turned him well. The uppercut. Murray drops his hands. Must be feeling the pace. Credit to the training team of both fighters who've whipped their man into top quality shape. Lovely right hand from Stern. Another good session. Back comes Murray in the 11th. Late on. I think we've seen a tremendous effort from Martin Murray in this round. Taking the punches, pouring the punches out. Good defence. What a performance this has been. He's matured round by round, Martin Murray. And he's put himself on the world map. Right hand from Stern. Another close one. Maybe Murray nicked it. What an enthralling affair. Again, featuring this man, Felix Stern. We like coming to Germany, don't we, Jim? Oh, tremendous action, and this has been tremendous quality. There's hardly been a clinch all the way through. Good, clean, quality boxing, quality punching, but I think that Murray did the majority of the work in the 11th round there. Again, we're still coming back with some decent work, but not enough of it to impress me, and every time Stern did come back, Murray responded. Martin Murray, who has only finished 12 rounds on one occasion, Felix Sturm on 14, and it is the man from St Helens who's finishing very strongly. Jim's got Murray up by a round, Jamie Moore's got Murray up. One or two at ringside, they got Sturm up by one. It is so close, might come down to this final round. Who knows how the judges have got it. What an effort, though, from Murray, and also what a performance from Sturm. I think Jamie, credit has also got to go to Oliver Harrison for this game plan. Exactly. I mean, we said all along, um, Oliver is a great tactician. We knew he'd, he'd pick the perfect game plan. It's worked to a team. It was all about whether Martin Murray was good enough to, to carry it out. And he's carried it out to a team. I think, uh, uh, you know, dropping the hands and stuff and relaxing was all part of the game plan. He's carried it out all the way through. And if he wins this round for me, he's won the world title. Good jab from Sturm. Crowd begin to lift their man, their hero. They enjoy the events here. That's good work. Murray back, though. Does Murray has to sustain that kind of action, Adam. Sustain it. And that's maybe when he watches the fight back, if he doesn't get it, where he'll be kicking himself. But I'll tell you what, it is mighty tight. And we could, just could, have a new world middleweight champion for Britain. Good uppercut from Stern, and a right hand, finishing like a champion. Catching the judges, Murray, can he respond? But Murray's the busier at the moment. Still looking for big shots, as though he feels he needs a knockout. But he's not, not the one with the work rate, but the, with the quality. There's that left hook that's worked well, the body shot sort of straight a bit low. And again, left hook round the side of the head. Terrific action as well, Jim. Another enjoyable fight to watch for the fans. A oh, big right hand from Murray. And again, left hook into the last minute. WBA middleweight championship. Few would have thought it would be this close. Has Murray done enough? Or... Will British hearts be broken? Well, Adam, he's doing enough on my card unless some disaster strikes in the last half minute or so. Tough to split them in this round. Murray being the busier. Sturm again with the power shots. Into the last 30 seconds. This is normally where Sturm gets busy, and he is. Murray saying, come on, but he's got to do more. And he is, look at this, phenomenal effort from Martin Murray as the clock ticks down. Felix Sturm, has he done enough to hold on to his title, especially in Germany? Oh, right oh, hand! Oh, it nearly went down there, Murray! The bell goes and saves!
grabs him. Might have stolen it in the last there. Felix Dome is lifted aloft. Oliver Harrison so proud of his charge, as so he should be, and British boxing as well. The fans celebrate. They believe. Jim, do you? I thought I have Murray at one point up. I think Sturm balanced the round with the final burst lay on. I thought he was uh, losing the round up until the final half minute when he, he landed huge punches. Murray probably seconds away from finishing on the floor, which what a disaster that would have been. But I have Martin Murray nicking him by one point, but there were so many close rounds. We're over here in Germany. We have to feel the worst, but he deserves to be the new champion. What a 12-round fight. We've seen Felix Sturm impress us over the years and he had to dig deep again to match Murray's work rate. But for a man with 23 fights, British and Commonwealth champion never had that gut check before this. He never had one or two in world class before this opportunity and he's performed like that. That proved he is genuine world class. There were rounds where Sturm looked as though he's caught his punches had better quality the way he was stepping in with the shots using the hips and the shoulders but uh, for punches landed it was so difficult to split them in so many rounds there were rounds that Sturm definitely won rounds that Martin Murray definitely won it's the other tight rounds which the way will send this uh, title one way or the other but look at the way he's finishing here one, two, three, four just refused to be intimidated at any time by Felix Sturm's ability and his, or his reputation. Tremendous final round, and then he just got caught with that shot, which nearly turned the whole thing on, on its end to disaster. Weather the storm, but thankfully that punch did not land half a minute earlier. But tremendous punches. That was the quality of Sturm all the way through that had you wondering, had Martin's volume won the rounds, I thought he was nicking them. We'll see what the judges feel about it. There's no way he doesn't deserve the title, but no great surprise if, in such a close, tight, hard fight, Billy Sturm, with hometown advantage, hangs on to his title. But hang on to it will be what he has done by the skin of his teeth. Martin Murray just walked over to us at ringside, looking pretty fresh, to be honest. Said, have you got it? I tell you what, it's been an excellent experience. Sturm doesn't look too happy. Remember, he is at home, he is the star of the show, he did get it against Matthew Macklin. Whatever, however you look at it, Adam, it was close. Both camps know this fight is in the balance, no one has taken anything for granted, Sturm is not around waving at the crowd, no one has taken this for granted, this is a fight that can go either way, it's down to the judges, but what a tremendous 12-rounder. Uh, we've been treated with tonight, tremendous. But look at the quality and some of uh, Felix Sturm's work. That was the difference in some of the rounds. Murray matched him for work rate, volume for most of the way round. Didn't match him for quality in all of the rounds. Hopefully that will not turn against him. Three judges, Ted Gimza from America, Pascale Procopio from Canada, Jean-Francois Dupin from France. It's in their hands. And a decision is imminent. Anticipation tingling around us at ringside. Which way will it go? Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the judges' decisions, how about a big round of applause for these two warriors? Spot on there. Here in Mannheim, after 12 championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Francois Toupin scores this bout 116 to 112 for Sturm. Cheers from the German Stern by four. Judge Ted Gimza scores this bout 115 to 113 for Murray. Two to Murray. Will it mirror the Macklin result? Or will Britain be happy tonight?
and Judge Pasquale Procopio scores this bout 114 to 114. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is a draw. Felix Stern retains his world middleweight title just. It's the second draw of his career. Martin Murray retains his unbeaten record, deservedly so. Jim Watt. Well, what can we say, Adam? Bad taste in Germany. You hate, you're expecting a bad decision. OK, we can have draws, we accept it. It's fair enough. But when you come to a place where you're expecting something to go wrong, something distasteful to happen, and it's a draw, and, and you get this, I'm so upset. For no way could you have fought Felix Stern four points up. But uh, I, just, I just feel sick, and I feel sick for Martin Murray. Lifted aloft, Ricky Hatton gutted, Martin Murray did everything he could and he came of age and he was brilliant. But Felix Sturm is still the champion, he offered Matthew Macklin a rematch, Macklin went another route. Let's hope he offers Martin Murray a rematch because my gut feeling is Murray will take it like a flash, Jamie Moore. I, I think so, I think he deserves that, I had Martin up two rounds, I mean, you know, a draw in Germany. I think it says you've won the fight. So, I mean, he can hold his head up high, but he'll be absolutely devastated, you know. He's, he's worked so hard for, it, for this all his life, and then come, come to the biggest night of his life and he gets a draw. Thank you, guys. Great fight, great work, effort, and achievement.